This recording will cover the installation of Precise for Oracle. And this assumes that you have the Precise framework already installed. You go to Admin Point Installation. And I've already set up an application here. And it's a little bit of a specialized application. And I'm going to just go ahead and click Edit. And then we'll go into what I did is I added uh, two tiers of Java. I'm going to just jump right here to Oracle and click Add, Add. The reason that there's an Add existing is that a node can live in more than one instance. Now, what we've done is we've actually um, done a little pre-configuration. So I've already added the server out and my Oracle instance, it's also, I'm going to monitor, it's also where my historic repository, the PMDB lives, is on server 60. And so Precise attempts to do a level of discovery, and it's indeed found that instance. And it's also got the, um, the listener. Now, I've, I've configured, I've granted SysDBA to system, so I can just come in here and provide the password. So give me a second, I gotta consult my cheat sheet. And so we'll come in and we're basically just working our way down this list on the left hand side. The installation wizard I believe is quite nice and it kind of guides us through uh, the installation process. Now truth be told I'm actually doing a reinstall and um, so there's some stuff that's already existing, but I think it'll give you a very good idea of where you would specify the uh, user ID and uh, where you would like the schema to live, etc. So we'll just go ahead and uh, let this run. For this installation, I'm going to use the default that it gave us, but it, it does exist. For you, you do create a new user and provide a password for it, but we've already created that in the password. So it's worthwhile here to go to the advanced button because this gives us some controls that we'll definitely want to take advantage of. And I would like to use um, the um, this temp file rather than one of the other ones that's there. And um, just some other things we can look at. We do have special functionality for SAP and people software. We can correlate in and user IDs, which is very helpful, and also transaction codes. So that should be good to go. So with that, we're ready to uh, click Next. And we'll go ahead and let it go. Precise very nicely brings up the preview screen, gives me an idea of what the space consumption is going to look like. And um, when I click Next, I will then go to the installation. So it's a little bit off the screen, but I'm going to go ahead and see if I can just work with this. Here, I'll move this around a little bit. And let's, sometimes you have to just move these things up. So let's go ahead and click Install. And now the installation process will begin. And Precise will move the files from the distribution folder um, via the listener to the destination. And so very nice is taking care of all of that work for us. So we're working our way down to the, the final pieces. Now the installation wizard can do a lot. Uh, Sometimes it can't do everything, and if there's something that it needs us to do, it will actually give us post-install manual installation steps. I don't think that happens uh, with Oracle, so um, we'll just let this run, and you can see that what it's doing. The very first time that you monitor a technology, it will build out the foundation of Precise, and so the first install will take a little bit longer than subsequent installs. And so um, once that foundation is in place, it's then available. Uh, with proper sizing, Precise can monitor up to 500 Oracle instances from one 
precise server. That is a ballpark, so mileage may vary. And it was skipped right over the manual action items and it went to finished. So very nice. So you can see that here. And I'm going to go ahead and click finish and we'll t take a look at um, how do you kind of just assess things quickly um, after you've done an installation. One place I like to come over to is agents. And this is the precise for Oracle agent monitoring ORCL running on server 60. And you can see that we have uh, a little green man and that maps down here to running. The verify button will run a series of tests. It looks for common issues and can be very helpful diagnosing uh, problems that could possibly come up. And it says verified successful. So all of its tests passed. Now, when we just start uh, monitoring, there is a prime the pump phase. And so the, um, the instance will not really have much data collected yet, but that doesn't mean that we can't uh, start to gather some information. So it starts to show a little bit. And I, get, I guess that because this was a reinstall, um, it's showing us some of the history that was collected earlier. What I would typically do to verify a brand new installation is come to current. And all I'm looking for here is connected sessions. Precise samples once per second to provide a high resolution view of what the SQL statements are doing and the resources that they're consuming. And that this shows that we're gathering that. The next thing I would do is come to objects and just make sure that we can touch the data dictionary. So that view is going to give us the behavior, the activity, once every 15 minutes uh, precise will sample that look for changes in the data dictionary and this shows that we can see the data dictionary. So that concludes how we go about um, uh, uh, just verifying that an instance would be ready to or be monitoring. So there is a prime the pump or a bacon period so come back in several hours and uh, take a look make sure that statistics is filling up, and then schedule a walkthrough uh, with your account team. So that concludes this uh, session. And um, just as a little side note, there is a command line interface to do the same thing. So large installations can be scripted. That's just something you might consider. Thank you very much.